I was born in London, but my parents actually met out of Spain, so they decided to have me in London, UK, get a British passport, and then we moved back out to Tenerife. My dad's Scottish, my mum's English Jamaican. Um, I started playing football as a four or five year old for CD Marino, Spain. Played all the way to the 1819. It was an academy, but I was lucky enough to have a good coach and a group, a good group of boys where we were trained professionally from a young age. My first move was to another third division team, fourth tier team in mainland Spain. I was there for four months. I came back and that's when I went in summertime, I went over to Scotland for trials. And I ended up signing for Donetsk. They played me mostly left back, so they were needing someone there and I could play there. So I ended up just taking that position. I learned a different side of football. You have to get stuck into the games. Play quick, more intense and, you know, more like a fight, to be honest, at times. So I had to get you out. That was the biggest change I had in football. And I learned a lot from it. So it was a good learning experience for me. My coach, he was, I think he was involved with Hearts before Academy. Maybe he was trying to talk something, but nothing really came out of it. So I, the only offer I had then was go out to Australia. So I went to Australia State Free. Australia was good, it was a good experience while I was there. I learned a lot. I played with some good players out there, some players that played international in South American countries, for Chile. So I learned a lot from them, work ethic, how to be more professional. Melbourne, the city, it was beautiful. Yeah, there's always some, every day you could do something. There's always something on. It's a bit like similar to London in a way. There's always something going on. But obviously, the world in Australia is a lot better. It's a more chilled vibe. Yeah, it's nice out there. I had issues with my visa. I came back in May. My agent called me and said, I'm sending you to Cyprus. Coach is going out there. I want you to go and sign for the third tier. It's a decent level. to get you back going, your career going again, and you know, get game time and show what you can do. The, the year before I came, they nearly got promoted to second division. It's a nice stadium, the second division stadium. They started improving it later on, but yeah, it's a nice stadium, big field. But it's mostly just kids, the local kids and yeah, older people coming to watch it. To be honest, it wasn't a good enough level for me. I contacted this team, I got the contact for a friend. I contacted them, they took me on for a trial, I sent them back. And during against his team, I started the game left back, then I played centre back and then I played centre mid in the same game against him so he knows I can play in different positions so he yeah. tried me left back I done good there and he signed me the left back even as second division is technically professional it's not as professional it may seem from the outside within two years I want to be playing minimum first division cyprus minimum if not I want to go to countries like Finland maybe Norway play second tier first tier I know I know they work good with young players they work good with the players and it's a good setup there I feel like I got the level, I just need the chance. But to me, I have no I don't mind moving around for football. I just want to see the find the best place for me to keep progressing. As long as I'm progressing as a player and in the right environment, I don't mind moving around.